Good evening. It's now officially seven, so I can start. <laughs> Welcome to our, our winter concert. Um, behind me you see a combination of our eighth grade chorus as well as our high school chorus. Um, I know that you're going to love what you hear this evening. And if you were with us last year, hopefully you'll notice the growth, especially from the eighth graders. Um, they've done a wonderful job this year, and I love having both groups together so the eighth graders can see what they have to look forward to when they get to high school, and the high schoolers have a chance to kind of look back and remember what they used to sound like and where they've come to at this point. Um, so I hope you enjoy the evening. It should be a lot of fun. I would just like to remind you to, sh to shut off all cell phones and pagers so as not to interrupt the performance. And if there were an emergency, I would like you to recognize the exits behind you and the two exits to my sides. And I ask that you exit immediately, should there be an emergency. And at this time, I'd like you to please stand for the singing of our national anthem. throughout the district for your support all year round. Okay, looks like we're about ready to continue. Um, before they begin, I just wanted to let you know that the acapella group is going to be singing Faith and then Hooked on a Feeling. And now without further ado, here is Pulse. Yeah. 
Ensemble. I would like to welcome Mrs. Rebecca Carpinito, our accompanist for the last 11 years. And we also have another 8th grade student, Celia Wilkins, who plays flute in the 8th grade band, but also will be joining us on fiddle. This is a great big C. Thank you. 
making sure that all of the students feel really confident. Number one, singing on their own. Number two, singing in multiple parts. And it's really hard. Um, it's been really um, eye-opening for me. Now three years working with eighth grade students um, and two years prior to this year working with the seventh and eighth grade students, remembering what it takes before they get to the high school. Um, so we've spent a lot of time really feeling confident with two parts so that next year, hopefully they sing with us at the high school, when they get to the high school, they're gonna be singing three and four parts and sometimes five, six, seven, eight parts. Um, and if they're not comfortable with two, the rest is gonna be a problem. So we're really spending a lot of time and they're getting really, really good at keeping to their part and it's really, really hard. So bravo, ladies. multiple parts at one time, everything else is the same. We work on pronunciation, we work on breath support, we work on memorization, we work on vowel shaping, none of that changes. So that's consistent all the way through. Um, and so is trying to let loose and have a little bit of fun. You'll see the last piece that the high school does has a similar feeling to it. Um, and I know that these ladies love the next piece we're gonna sing. So this is the Frim Fram Sauce. I don't want friends. 
the next piece I just want to recognize a few people. Every fall we have a handful of students that audition for the Central District um, Chorus Band, Chorus or Band, um, and this year we had several of the students in this choir behind me that did go to the audition, so I would like to recognize them and congratulate them just for going for it. It's totally different music, there's a whole lot of sight reading in there, we meet after school for six weeks or so um, to put that together. So just the fact that they took the audition should be complimented. So um, it's hard to step down. If you would raise your hand if you auditioned and wave. Yes. <laughs> Bravo. And I encourage everybody to do it next year. And of those people, we had three students that were accepted to the Central District Choir. So if you three would raise your hands and wave vigorously. 
Amanda Bingham, Emily LeBlanc, and Sarah Yee. And then the next step is that two of those three students received an Allstate recommendation, which means that they scored in the top 50% of all students that auditioned for the Central District Choir. And those are Emily and Sarah. So raise your hand. This Saturday, they'll be auditioning um, for the Allstate Ensemble. And if they get accepted to that group, they will sing at Symphony Hall in Boston at the end of February. And then, from last year's Allstate, <laughs> You can't hide. From last year's Allstate scores, Emily LeBlanc received an All-Eastern recommendation and was accepted. So that is a huge, um, huge accomplishment. And I am so, so proud of her. So that means in April, she'll be going to sing with people from Maine to Washington. And I was telling her on the list, there's someone from Europe, I guess. Um, and so that performance will be in Hartford in April. So congratulations to all of you that went forward. And now we'd like to share with you a piece called In Remembrance.
Thank you very much. At this time, we are going to recognize our seniors and their parents or family members that they have invited here as guests this evening. So, seniors, if you would go to your respective locations and family members that are being called down, if you would go to join your seniors. At this time, we would like to recognize our senior chorus members and their families for the contributions they have made to the LHS music program throughout their high school careers. Thank you for your time and effort and congratulations on making it to this point. We truly appreciate everything you have done for this chorus and we'll miss you next year. Best of luck in all of your future endeavors. We ask the audience to please hold your applause until all the seniors have been recognized. Nicole Adams is joined by her parents, Jeff and Bonnie. Nicole has been a member of the chorus for four years. Next year, she intends to enroll in college and decide what she wants to do with the rest of her life. Nicole would like to thank her family for attending every concert and supporting her for the past four years. Amanda, Bing Amanda Bingham is being escorted, escorted by her mom, Anita. Amanda has been a member for the chorus for four years and plans to study music education in college. Amanda would like to thank her family and friends for always supporting her these past four years, and she'd like to thank Mrs. Wardwell for ha helping her become a better musician. Emily Boucher is joined by her parents, Emily and Brian Dufault. She has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to go on to college next year. Emily would like to thank her chorus family for always being there. Courtney Chester is accompanied by her parents, Bruce and Anastasia Chester. Courtney has been a member for the chorus for four years and plans to go to MCLA next year to possibly major in film. She would like to thank Mrs. Wardwell, Sarah, Erica, and the whole chorus. She'll miss, you, she'll miss all of you. Kate Cronin is being escorted by her parents, Dan and Jackie. She has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to study to become a nurse. Kate would like to thank the past and present LHS chorus for making these last four years fun and memorable, and Mrs. Wardwell for always pushing us to be our very best. Thank you. Stephanie Deary is joined by her parents, Peter and Sherry. She has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to attend, co attend college next year to major in business management. Steph would like to thank her mom, dad, and Craig for helping her make her high school experience memorable. She, she'd also like to thank Mrs. Wardwell for pushing her, helping her, and always seeing her potential. Good luck, 2013. Erica Hoffman is accompanied by her mom, Heidi. Erica has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to go to college next year for pre-medical studies. Erica would like to thank the chorus for being such a wonderful, supportive, and important part of her life. Thomas Kendrick is being escorted by his parents, Barbara and Tom. Thomas has been a member of the chorus for four years and next year plans to go to college for music. He would like to thank his fellow chorus members for all of the great memories over the years. He'll miss you all dearly. Best of luck. Emily LeBlanc is accompanied by her parents, Jackie and Randy. Emily has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to go on to study music in college. She would like to thank her friends, family, and Mrs. Wardwell for always believing in her and supporting her. Good luck, LHS Chorus. You will be missed. Kevin McGrady is being escorted by his mother, Eileen McGrady. Kevin has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to go on to study criminal justice in college. Kevin would like to thank the chorus and Mrs. Wardwell for everything. He will miss you all, keep doing what you're doing, and enjoy life. <laughs> Alexander Regent is accompanied by his mother, Wendy, and his sister, Kat Regent. He has been a member of the chorus for two years and hopes to join the military. Alex would like to thank his family, that is the chorus, for great memories this year. <laughs> Brittany Riley is joined by her parents, Carrie and Steve Riley. She's been a member of the chorus for four years and plans on attending college next to study in the medical field. 
Brittany would like to thank her family, friends, and Mrs. Wardwell for their help and support the past four years. Scott Ruggles is joined by his parents, Paulette and Roger Newcomb. Scott has been a member of the chorus for one year. He's not sure what exactly his future holds, but he'll be very successful. <laughs> Jessica Sargent is accompanied by her mother, Patty, and her uncle, Chris. Jess has been a member of the chorus for two years. She's not exactly sure what she'll be doing next, but she's going where the wind takes her. Jess's favorite memory is singing some of the more entertaining warm-ups. <laughs> Brittany Spencer is being escorted by her mom, Tracy, and her dad, Joe. She has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to attend college next year majoring in education and science. Brittany would like to thank her family for being so supportive. Good luck to the LHS chorus. Matt Swan is joined by his parents, Michelle McCauley and Michael Swan. Matt has been a member of the course for three years and plans to go on to college next year for mechanical engineering. He hopes to continue a musical hobby on the side. Matt would like to thank Mrs. Wardwell for all she has done for the music group. He'll really miss the a cappella group, the chorus, and most of all, his fellow bassists. They've made him proud to be a bass and their section leader. Keep on rocking. Shannon Tormey is being escorted by her parents, Monica and John. Shannon has been a member of the chorus for four years. She will attend Fitchburg State University, majoring in business. Shannon would like to thank her mom, dad, Deb, James, family, and friends for being there along the ride and supporting her. Sarah E. is accompanied by her mother and brother, Sunny and Eric. Sarah has been a member of the chorus for four years and plans to go on to college and major in biology. Sarah would like to thank Mrs. Wardwell for the great memories she's had with the music department. She'll never forget everything that she has taught her. And another round of applause for all of our seniors. Mrs. Wardwell and Ms. Carpenito uh, for all their hard work that um, they put into this. Ms. Carpenito works with us in the evenings and takes time out of her day to help us, and Ms. Wardwell works with us every day. Uh, and she always pushes us to be our best, and look at where we got. <laughs> Take of me, forget me not. 
opportunity to help. There are many more throughout the year. So you can send me an email. Um, there are many musicators here. I'm sure they would be happy to let you know how you could lend a hand. And at this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Sharon Paquette with our 50-50 raffle winner. Oh, I'm going to. I bought oh, tickets. She chooses it just in case. I didn't have my singing of the Hollywood chorus, he spontaneously grows to his feet and remains standing until the end of Handel's masterpiece. Royal etiquette dictates that when the king stands, everybody stands. <laughs> In some versions of this story, the king stood for a variety of reasons. To stretch his legs, relieve his gout, the need for the bathroom, being awoken by the chorus's forte opening, or his own sense of reverence. No matter what the reason, it has been customary since that day for the audience to stand whenever the Hallelujah Chorus is sung. We invite you to stand and join us in the singing of Handel's Hallelujah Chorus. If you'd like to join us, come on up. Yes! Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for being here and supporting the music program. Happy holidays. Get home safely. Congratulations, all performers.